Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Summer. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Summer, your eyes are kind of puffy. Is everything all right? Were you crying? Yeah, I cried just a little last night when watching a movie. It was so good and touching. You look like you cried your eyes out. <laughs> I can't understand girls. If you like a movie, just enjoy it. Why do you have to cry for it? You know, crying is not a bad thing. It's an emotional release mechanism, which is helpful and healthy. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Women are always right, especially crying women. <laughs> 天哪，你这个直男发言。我都很想把洋葱拿来让你大哭一场啊！那我觉得哭泣啊、流眼泪啊，其实是非常正常的一种情绪，也是一种很好的宣泄方式，总比这个大喊大叫然后摔东西要好，对吧？但总有一些人呢，自己不哭，他就看不得别人哭。You know, I can't stand people who can't stand people crying. Oh well, it seems like you have a lot on your mind to say about crying. Yeah, it is. I am a little mad about some news these days about criticizing a woman for crying. Well, what happened? 是这样的啊，最近有一档新综艺叫做《妈妈你真好看》，就是女明星们啊带着他们的妈妈一起参加比赛。在这个节目里呢，主角是吴昕，然后她没能让她的妈妈晋级，她就哭了。这一哭就被网友们骂上了这个热搜。So she cried for not being able to help her mom in the show. Right? Do you think her crying was reasonable? Well, I wouldn't do that, but yeah, it's understandable. She loves her mom, and she felt guilty for not helping her. Yeah, exactly. We all should have more sympathy. I'll tell you more about her story today. Okay. Yeah, can't wait to hear more. <laughs> so today, ah, with you guys, let's talk about Xin Jie, talk about crying. 那关于吴昕在节目里哭这件事啊，首先先给大家看一看网友们的评论。Okay, so Colin, listen to this comment. He said, "You're forty. You've been in the showbiz for so many years. Why do you act like a little girl and cry all day?" Hmm, I can see why that made you pissed. Crying is not a matter of age, and being in showbiz, no matter how long, doesn't mean you have to change who you really are. Yeah, you get me. 就是在娱乐圈待久了，难道就不能哭了吗？而且哭这件事情应该是没有年龄要求的，对吧？四岁能哭，四十岁就不能哭了吗 ？You're not a scientist. You can't tell me how old I should be to be allowed to cry. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down.、Mm -hmm. Like you said before, in times of deep pain, anger, and stress, crying can be a healthy coping option. It's more than just a symptom of sadness, but an emotional release mechanism useful for your mental health. Right, 哭泣可以是悲伤的表现 ，a symptom of sadness， 也可以是一种这种感情释放的机制。这种释放感情啊，我们就可以说 emotional release。然后身体的这种应对机制可以用到 mechanism。Now you see how sensible a woman can be. Even if now Summer is angry and in tears, she can still explain new words here. <laughs> I'm not in tears, and maybe not that angry. All right, let's move on. 我们继续看啊。那我们除了拿这个年龄说事，还有人呢非常无聊。他去数了数，吴昕因为哭上过几次热搜，结果发现是九次。Her crying was on the trending topic list nine times. Okay, I'll give it to you that people who did this counting are very boring. But nine times, well, that also means something. That means she has a lot of stress and anxiety working the showbiz and seeing all the netizens' comments. It's also likely that other celebrities cry at home while only she cries in the show. Hmm, 有可能。别人都是在家里哭，谁都没个压力大。然后课没上好，事没做完，在家哭的时候呢？不过说真的，有的人确实也就是天生更加爱哭，也更加容易哭一些。Some people just can't stop crying. Yeah, you mean a crier, someone who cries a lot. Right, a crier. 在这个 cry 后面加一个 er， 就变成哭泣的人，爱哭的人。所以我们说吴昕的性格呢，可能就是比较爱哭一点。She's a big crier. She can't help it. All right. So in the show, how did she cry? I mean, did she just cry like a, a little, like a little weeping, or did she burst into tears? Oh, she burst into tears, rushed out of the room, and told the camera guy not to follow her. Well, if she did that while filming, maybe some people might think she's not very professional.、Mm, I can get that. 
，就是在节目上直接哭出来，然后离场，可能很多人觉得还是会不太专业。但是这也不是主持现场啊，这就是一档真人秀啊。I think it's understandable to cry on a reality TV show. Hmm. All right. Well, since we're on the topic, I think maybe we can talk about different words we can use for crying. I think some students might get confused. Good idea. 就比如，嗯，讲到哭呢，你刚刚就用到了这个词啊 ，weep. Yeah, it means to cry quietly and for a long time because you are very sad or you feel a very strong emotion. 嗯 ，weep 这个词也是哭，但通常是比较小声的那种啜泣。哦，我想起来，在这个节目里啊，超模刘雯她也参加了，然后她也因为这件事情哭了。她的哭就是小声的自己哭，默默擦眼泪那种。So we can say Liu Wen also wept in the show, but her weeping seemed to earn more sympathy instead of criticism. Here's another word, sob. It's、uh, sort of the opposite of weep. To sob means to cry noisily, and your body shakes, taking sudden and sharp breaths. Hmm, this、这个、sob. 大家小时候一定都这么哭过，就是哭的非常大声，然后你的身体还会抖动，类似这种<笑>这种抽噎这种哭，<笑>这种就是 sob, right? Kids sob a lot. Yeah, they do. And we can also use some phrases like.、Um, Uh, my eyes water.、Uh, this is an obvious one. Right, my eyes water. 这里的 water 就是个动词。我的眼睛里常含泪水，就是泛泪光嘛，流眼泪。Like now, Colin's eyes water because we are finally about to wrap up this podcast. <laughs> Not well. And the last useful phrase is burst into tears. Hmm, burst into tears. 这个词组我们前面讲过。Burst 本身就有爆裂啊、胀开这个意思，所以这个 burst into tears 就是眼泪一下子流了出来，突然大哭。Hmm. So next time when you're watching a sappy movie and you feel like crying, you know which word to use. I usually burst into tears. Yeah, I don't doubt that. All right, I think that's all the time we have for today. Okay, so today 和大家聊聊和哭相关的一些实用表达。也聊聊心结这件事儿，不知道大家怎么看？欢迎给我们留言。Thank you so much for listening. This is Colin. This is Summer. See you next time. Bye. This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来早安英文。